So I shoot with Godox. Now there's a bunch of brands out there. I'm going to talk about this trigger a little bit more in a minute. But um, there's Nui, which is kind of like a knockoff of Godox, I think. But I think Godox is a knockoff of Westcott. Um, there is Profoto. Maybe it's a knockoff of Profoto. I think that's what it is. Anyway, so I shoot with multiple different types of flashes. Um, this right here is a small flash. Um, now, this is my recommendation towards people. If you're ever like, hey, should I spend a little bit more money on flash? Should I get a, a better one, bigger one? This is a really good emergency, hey, I need this flash uh, type of thing. Um, it takes AA batteries and it burns through them fast. Now, what I like about this flash is these three things right here. There's a little uh, diffuser there and then the stand. And then it has the pop-up diffuser also at the same time with the, uh, with the reflector card. Now, if you look at this one, it uh, has a little F on it for Fuji. And so I like it because it fits on the Fuji. The Fuji's small. This is small. But this is not going to make it through the night. Don't buy batteries from uh, Costco or those cheap batteries. They will not last. These AA batteries burn through quick. Now, it says, I really didn't remember the, the, the terminology, but I really get probably 150 shots. And then it starts to do some weird things. Uh, that little stand that you saw there, it breaks really easy. So very, be very careful with it. Um, it will break if you put it on a tripod and you try to move the, if you grab it by the, the top of it. Now this trigger right here, I, I hesitate to say slave, but this trigger, there's two types of triggers Godox makes. This one is really nice. It's simple, small. Um, I still don't know all the functions behind it, but I can use this trigger. I can use that flash. I can use the next flash you're going to see, and I can um, uh, put everything together and fire off everything. I have three different flashes. But this trigger is really nice. It's really simple to use. Play with it as much as you can. Take your dog, your kids, your family, and play with this flash. Now, the only downfall behind this is it's really small. It's really compact, and that is the Con and a Pro. Uh, it doesn't give off a lot of light. You have to really direct it at what you want. It has a little bit of a blue tinge to it, uh, but white balance changing it, it's no big deal. Uh, I do like this flash in a, in a pinch. I said this is an emergency flash, but my recommendation is to really buy the big one, and I'm going to show you the, the bigger flash uh, for your system. But you have to be careful because what you buy may or may not mix with the rest of your flashes um, or your cameras. So if you're expecting to buy this and it fits a Sony, it's not going to fit on your, your your Fuji. So be very careful what you buy down the road. But I'm going to explain something as far as all of them are concerned with the trigger. Now, this is the next one I use. Now, I made the mistake. I bought it for Sony. Um, but I recommend it either way. Buy one for Sony, buy one for Fuji, Canon, whatever you pick. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to tell you why at the end. But if you want it on your camera, um, make sure you buy it for your main body. Because I shoot with Sony and Fuji. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I know everybody has to say that all the time, but none of this is sponsored. Um, but these Godoxes are really good. Now, I can put this on a stand and have that trigger with the Sony or the Fuji. It doesn't matter which one. It has the trigger on there, and I can shoot in all of them. And one time I had all four of my flashes going all at the same time. Um, my recommendation, if you're ever going to do flash, there's a bunch of videos out there, but you always set one flash at a time. Uh, I have three channels, so I set it all. Um, on there now this flash does have limitations compared to the 8200 that I'm going to show you but this is a really good flash this is a step up uh, there's two versions of this there's a circular version and a square version uh, this is the square version of it uh, the batteries uh, lithium battery that charges I went four weddings with this as my main flash until the battery died and then I had to pull out my emergency one uh, but my next one is going to be the 8200 and you're going to see it here in just a moment now, the 8200 is an amazing, uh, small, compact, very powerful flash. And I had two of these. The wind knocked one over. It works. If I put it as a slave, I guess, like, you know, but I have no control over it. I can't see the screen, so I have to control it by the trigger, which is fine because I don't ever really see this one anyway. Uh, the battery doesn't last that long on the second one, but this one does. You can see it right here, the little dot. Um, both of these fell. Uh, but these are very powerful. Marcus Picks is the one guy I trust the most because he's shot so many stuff if you've never seen his things. Uh, but he told me about the 8200. I really loved it. 
I love it all the time. There's a dish, a beauty dish I think I'm trying to get for it so I can do a little bit more spotlight shoots uh, in studio. But, oh, my God, this thing is amazing. It beats out the sun, especially with the modifiers if you have them. Uh, it is very, very good um, flash. I, I recommend if you're going to get any flash, uh, it, uh, 8200, it comes with a bunch of modifiers on it. Um, I just like this one because of how I put it on there. But um, I would really recommend you getting an 8200 if you're going to get a flash. Now, it does need a stand. Um, go get a C-stand. Um, or you can get a tripod, a pretty heavy-duty tripod, because this thing is heavy. And if you put um, a big modifier on it, it will knock over the tripod. So my recommendation to you is to get a C-stand with, um, with a good-sized modifier and this 8200. It's an amazing, amazing light. Okay, so the last two lights I shoot with, one of them is another Godox. Uh, this is a constant light. Um, I know it's hard to see here. You'll see it here in a second. I, I try to bump up the stuff, but it has this beautiful shield on it. There's three different variants of this. There's one that comes with a remote. Kind of made me mad mine didn't come with the remote. But um, I really like this uh, constant light. It's a RBG, and um, it's very bright, very cool. Um, I've done a couple of shoots with it. Uh, I really do like it. Um, a couple of things... I expect from constant lights that are this small, I guess I was expecting them to be like brighter in a studio. I could outpower some of the stuff. Um, I have to bring the flash down way, way low for this to actually have an effect. And that's my only drawback. Um, but I really like it for product shots. I really like it for a hair light. I usually put it under a model sometimes and it really pops out the light behind them uh, against the walls, especially white walls or blue or, or red walls. It really pops it out. Uh, but this is a really good light. Um, if I remember what it's called, I'll put it in the description below. But it's a, it's a great Godox light. It's a constant light. You can find them. That are, if you find them on sale, great. Uh, they run between like 150 to like 200 and something dollars. But it's a good light. I like it. The battery life lasts a long time. I usually keep it at 50, 60%. Um, and it's a pretty good uh, overall light. Okay, the last light is this little guy right here. Um, I don't know where I got this guy from. It's an RBG light, really nice. I love the product. I really thought when I first bought it, I could actually put it to 100% and like light people. No, this goes maybe two feet, uh, but it's really good. I like it. Uh, it's pretty bright overall. Battery lasts forever on this light. I'm not joking. I have used it multiple times and um, it, it doesn't die. Um, but the moral of the story, I would say if you want a certain group of lights to start off with. Uh, Godox is a good set. There's a lot of people that are like, oh my God, Pro Photo and blah, 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 Westcott and all this. Just find what works for you. Um, don't cheap out too much, right? Um, Nui's good. If you're going to bang up your gear, you're one of those people that's like destroys everything. I think Nui's a good brand to deal with. Um, but overall, Godox is a great spot. Westcott, if you want to spend the money, same thing with Profoto, you want to spend it. But professionally, the Godox is just as good, if not um, just, you know, as, as good as anything else you got out there. Well, thanks for listening. Uh, have a great day. Good night. And see you on the other side.